Hi, and welcome to MyAppsGenie.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the MyAppsGenie.com app builder to create hot news apps that you can either um, you know, upload to the app stores and monetize with ads, uh, use them as a marketing tool for a related product or service that you offer, or even create these applications to sell and flip on Flippa. And, and create a great income that way. And I'm going to show you how to make these applications an unlimited amount of them fast and easy within minutes. So here we are at the MyAppsGenie.com app builder. We're going to go to the template section. We're going to go to blank templates. We're going to select this one here. There's nothing going on, but that's okay because we're going to choose the tools that we want or features that we want to make it a full application. I'm going to use this. Call this one News App. We'll choose, uh, you, know, you can make one for native iPhone, iPad, Android, Kindle, or a web app. We'll choose iPhone. Keep the standard tabs. And we're done. See here, it's blank, nothing going on. That's perfect. It's what we want. Done with that. As we start off, we've got four tabs. What we want to do is, well, you can make tab one into whatever you want it to be, a welcome page or you know, an advertisement, whatever you want. Um, and basically what I'll do is I'll show you actually how to rename these tabs right now. So we hit done. We're going to go to our navigation settings. Again, we'll make tab one home. Tab two will be news. Tab three will be, you can do an about us page. And have a contact page if you want. They can be whatever you want them to be. Uh, we have quite a list of different features that you can turn this into whatever kind of application you want it to be. But for our focus, we want to concentrate on turning tab two into our news feed application. So we're going to edit this page and we're going to convert it. Let's go to our grid area so we can choose the feature that we want. As you can see here, like I, like I said, we've got a lot of features that you can choose to add to these different, you know, uh, those different tabs. You can even create an even bigger menu system by choosing one of these and have an endless amount of pages in your application if you choose so. But for this video here, we're just going to stick and keep it very simple. So we roll down here. We're going to be looking for the RSS feed. Here it is. It's the one we want. We're going to choose that. Convert. And as you see here, it automatically pulls a generic RSS feed for news into our application, which updates automatically for the user. But the idea here is we want our app to pull news from multiple resources. So even if we choose a YouTube, just say, let's say for this video, it's a sports. We can get the feed. You see here, now it's updated with all YouTube videos about sports. But it only gives us a limited amount of videos um, into the application because an RSS feed is normally set to only deliver in a, a minimum amount or a limited amount of content per RSS feed. And besides, like I said, we want the user to have a better experience inside the application and make it more valuable by pulling data or, or pulling news from multiple resources. So let's just take this RSS feed that it already gave us. I'm going to go over this tool called Pipes. And uh, this one here, it's, it's owned by Yahoo. Basically all you have to do is create a Yahoo account, come into Pipes, we're going to create a pipe. See, it's got a bunch of different tools. Most of them I don't even know what they do. I haven't had a chance to go through them, but I bet you they do some really cool things. But for us and for the purpose of our application, we only want the fetch feed uh, tool. You see here we've got our URL. We're going to add that YouTube feed that we picked up from myappsgenie.com. And here is where it gets interesting. Now we can add multiple feeds. Refresh that here. You can see here it's pulling our YouTube videos, 17 or more. So now what we want to do is we want to pull some more information from multiple sources to make the application more valuable. So basically what we do, we can go over to Google and we're going to hit, uh, let's just hit, we'll go to Sports News RSS. We can go over to Yahoo News. You can see here we can do anything from 
all these different sports that we can choose from. Um, just for this video, we'll just choose the first. We'll choose Major League Baseball. Grab our feed, bring it back over the pipes, and add it. Hit refresh. There we go. Now it's got our YouTube feed and the RSS feed from Yahoo Sports. And as you can see here down along the bottom, if you notice, there's 27 um, articles that are going to be feeding into our application now instead of just the minimum amount that we had. Let's continue on. Let's grab one more feed. Let's find another one. Let's go, let's look at New York Times. Here we go. We'll grab their sports feed. Sports. Perfect. We'll grab their feed, bring that back over the pipes. We'll add that one. And basically, we want to do this is the pipe output. This is what's going to take all these feeds and convert it into one single feed. So that's what we did here. So we're going to refresh here. And now it's pulling from three separate f sources. Now we got over 47 uh, different articles about sports for our users. And they can be anything specific. You can create an application specifically, you know, just focused on baseball or football or basketball or anything. Um, in these feed here, you can create an endless amount of different feeds to make this an even more valuable, you know, application. Now, one other thing is people always ask is, where do I get the ideas for the different news apps that I can create? Well, that's great. So I'm going to take you over the Google Trends. And here's the top charts. Now, as you can see here, it's listed with all the things that are trending right now, what people are talking about. I mean, you can create a news app about... Tom Brady. You can create one about Ernie Banks. You can see there it's hot. You can create a news feed application about the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, you can create a news app. You know, anything. Just Chicago Bulls. Um, it's endless. Actors and actresses and animals that just, you know, let's see, Jennifer Lopez is trending. You can create an application about that. And these get downloaded because they're so hot right now. People are talking about them and they want to absorb as much information as possible. And you'll be supplying that information to them. So let's go back over the pipes. So here we are. We created our feed and we want to hit save. We'll save the pipe as sports. What it's going to do, it's actually going to create it for us. Uh, we're going to hit properties. Description, we'll just hit sports news, sports news, run pipe. And right here, as you see in my account, it's running the pipe. Uh, for the RSS feed, let's see. We're back over to pipes. We're going to hit back to my pipes. That's the one we just created. You can see here, now we're going to get the RSS feed to our pipe. I'm going to copy that, bring that into myappsgenie.com. We're going to replace this with our new RSS feed. With now you can see here, all of our information and articles that we created have been fed into the application, giving the user a much more uh, user-friendly experience for the feed. So that's it. That's as simple as that. We created a news app feed in what, less than 20 minutes, less than 10 minutes, and you can create an unlimited amount of these applications. Like I said, you can monetize them with ads. You can use them as a marketing tool for you know a product or a service that you offer if it's related. Uh, you can create these applications and, and, and put them on Flippa and, and really make an extra income or as a great marketing tool in combination with push notification that uh, My App Genie also offers. So if you want to start creating hot news feed applications quickly and easily, you've seen how fast it can be done, come over to MyAppsGenie.com, sign up for the package that suits you, and start creating your applications today.